Hello, I'm Kim Sauer for EMS Now here at Quadratronica 2013. I'm joined today by Chris Davis from VI Te Technology. Chris, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much, Kim. And thank you very much for taking the time from a busy booth to, to um, speak to us. Now, traditionally, you've been present at Productronica. Yes, but for many this years. Year, there's a little bit, something different, a little bit of a twist. In, in, indeed there is. This is the first year that we've been present at Productronica with our own booth, in, in our own uh, guise, if you will, as VI Direct. Mm -hmm. um, we've, we've taken this step this year. We see this as a very uh, prominent step in the market to get closer to our customers. Germany is for us an extremely important market. It, it, it really, for me, is the, the technical driving hub of Europe and the German customers that we have and the German customers that we know appreciate the quality of the engineering of our products. They are not, uh, not looking for the cheapest product, they're looking for the most uh, suitable product for their particular application. Mm -hmm. and, and our products are designed to be protection ready products uh, with high reliability, high accuracy and of course um, high performance in the inspection arena. Mm -hmm. so a lot of uh, new technology on show? We have a, a brand new machine that mm -hmm. we've launched at the show. It's yeah. a new 3D SPI machine. Uh, again, it, it, it's a very interesting product because we are somewhat late into this marketplace and we have the advantage of looking at those who are already present in the market, seeing what they do and perhaps what they don't do. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we've done a significant amount of research with, with the customers and users of uh, SPI machines to understand very clearly what it is that is missing in the market at the mm -hmm. moment. And we believe that the product we brought to the market realizes these aspirations and provides the solutions that hitherto have not been easily available. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's been pretty busy at your, it's, your it's, stand with... It's um, been incredibly busy. We have one regret at this show, and the regret is that we only bought one of these machines. We should have bought two <laughs> machines <laughs> uh, because we've been absolutely inundated, and I know, uh, I, I, I do hope customers haven't been too disappointed, but some of the demonstrations have taken much longer than we'd anticipated because of the level of interest, mm. and we haven't been able to perhaps to satisfy all those customers, mm. but uh, oh. you can be assured we will be addressing that in the months that are coming. Well, I was going to say, these shows those are, yes, they're over three days, uh, over a period of three days, but they're also an opportunity just to, to highlight what's new and what's good and then to take those conversations further. In, so indeed. has, has your, your direct presence uh, been, been accepted positively and, and do you see a, a, a sort of carrying that strategy forward for, for the Productronicas to come? Very much I do, yes. Um, we've had many, many uh, very supportive contact from the customers. They do appreciate direct contact with the manufacturer, mm -hmm. even though our previous agent was very competent. They, they like to have the direct contact with the manufacturer. And I have to say, I've seen a lot more new customers than I have seen perhaps in previous shows because they, they, their curiosity has been piqued. They've come along to see what we have to offer. And uh, we, we've been absolutely inundated with, with visitors. So uh, yes, a very busy show. Yeah, brilliant. So just um, finally, let's talk a little bit about the, the, the market and the marketplace yeah. that we're in. Um, I mean, some, some people see Productronica as a European show, others as a global show. So, but if we can get a little bit of your, your uh, well, impression of what's going on here in Europe, in Asia, are there differences, and, and yeah. North America, and, and where you're taking your company and how you fit in with it within those markets? Well, I think that I focus now very much on the European market. As, as age advances, shall we say, I, I've uh, pulled away from some of these long flights. That, not for me anymore. So I'm focused very much on the European market, which for us is an extremely important market. Uh, because, I, as I said earlier, the market is very technically demanding and demands high quality products. Uh, in, in Germany, we find that customers are very more than happy to pay for a quality product that does the job that they need, rather than necessarily looking for the cheapest product. Mm. So this, this is the market area that, that we, we address. Um, the market, I have to say, in Europe for the last year, 18 months, has been somewhat deflated. And I think we, we see this is, is reflected in the general economic situation that we've had in Europe. But uh, over the last few months leading up to this show, I've seen a significant increase in the activity in the market. And we are hopeful, shall I say, and planning that this will continue through into 2014. So mm -hmm. we're really very, very excited. There, there are more and more opportunities in this industry. 
and I think more opportunities that we are in a re really good position to satisfy. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, it sounds as though you make the, the, the right uh, decision to come here as VI, uh, stand alone with your booth. So um, I'll uh, let you get back to the, the booth and talk to the customers on this, uh, I think, one more day one to more go. Day. So um, wish you great success and thank you once again for talking to us and today. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I do appreciate it. Thank you.